Hello everyone, my name is Anton and today I want to talk about the Note Plan 3 and talk about some things that I've found in Note Plan 3 that actually I did not get to point out in the first video because I was just starting to use it and now I have a little bit more usage under my belt. I've started migrating some of my notes from Obsidian to this application and I found out a few things here that are limitations with note plan where you might still need to use obsidian and how you can actually use both of these applications in a complementary way so let's go ahead and get on over to the video and this should be a lot shorter than the previous one that i did but before i get into the video go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel and now that i know that you've hit that like button and you have subscribed let's get to the video all right so now we're in note plan i have their demo note open here and i wanted to do something here this is note plan and let's switch over this is obsidian so we can see how you can make these two look somewhat similar so i was using the daily planner in obsidian putting in notes using this their formatting uh, for this plugin and you can also get this little timeline view here and you can put in a little calendar. So these two apps have kind of that similar look uh, just by doing it this way. Obsidian is very customizable. But the reason why I'm looking at Note Plan 3 is because this calendar and these, these activities shown in this particular format here do not include anything that's on my in my Google Calendar or any other calendar that I'm using. This information only comes from text within my markdown that I'm using in Obsidian. So just a couple of things here in Note Plan 3. What I found is that code blocks are not supported here. So if you were to come into Note Plan 3 and you need it to do your code blocks in Markdown, similar to how you would do them in any other Markdown document. You can see here the formatting, this is code. This code block is not formatted appropriately uh, the way it would in Markdown. So I do have some things that I, I put code blocks in just because I might be doing some scripting or I just have some reference code that I've used with JavaScript and say OneWriter or any other application. And it's nice to have it formatted the right way. But right now in Note Plan 3, that's not supported. So there are some other things that are probably not supported as well. So I've hit this little formatting link and I'm thinking that this is probably the only markdown that's supported within the app. And if that's the case, again, there, there are a few things that are not supported um, from a markdown formatting perspective. And you also don't get the, the map view in here. I don't use the map view that often. So it's not a big loss for me, but other people might coming from Obsidian might want that map view. So this is how you can actually get both of these applications working together. So let's go through the process of linking the Obsidian application to Note Plan 3's folder structure. So you can see all the files that are being created in Note Plan 3 using Obsidian. Now, if I haven't mentioned before or you haven't seen the video, um, it's set up right now using CloudKit. So all the files that are being created in Note Plan 3 here are being saved to Markdown files. So with this setting in place, I can have Obsidian open up the folder for Note Plan 3 and it, it will recognize all the Markdown files that are in that directory. Now, if you haven't set up the preferences here, we go into the preferences of Note Plan 3. We go into File. By default, this is going to be set to TXT. You can come in here and just change this to MD. Hit Apply. You can rename all the other notes. I've seen this. This process actually takes a long time for some reason, even after it's changed the file extension for 
all the notes that are in the directory. So what I've done is if that process gets stuck, you just see the the wheel churning on the the process for renaming these notes. I'm not going to click it right now. Just go ahead and kill the app, close it, reopen it, make sure this setting is in place. Also, you may want to verify in the folder structure that all of your notes have been changed to the right extension that you're looking for. And the way we can get to that folder structure is go ahead and click on a note. We can code those three dots and do show in folder. Now from here, if you have your settings set up appropriately on the Mac, you should be able to see the full path of where the note plan application folder directory is. And it should go all the way through on users, your username, library, containers, note plan three, data, library, application support, co.noteplan.noteplan3 and then the notes folder. So the notes folder here is where all the notes will go. But when we set this up with Obsidian, I've set it up so that it goes to the top level folder here, the co.noteplan.3 because all of your daily notes get saved underneath calendar. So this is the folder directory that we're going to open in Obsidian and add as a vault. So if we go into Obsidian here, let's go ahead to vault. And what I have here is we can see I've already done this particular process, but if I go ahead and close that out, what you do here is you go to open folder as vault. You click the open, you browse to the actual folder structure. You will need to probably set it up so that you can get to your main, your, your root folder directory or your, of your hard drive, and then go ahead down the tree using the, the path that was just called out. And as I mentioned, I'm using the co.noteplan.noteplan3. You click open. And once you do that, the Obsidian will go ahead and open up that vault and you can see everything within it. So if I come under calendar here, I can see the different notes that are in there. Everything comes over and works, just works out of the box. So if we come into this demo note here, we can see that all the things that were added in here from note plan three is recognizable. So I've not seen any issues as far as any formatting issues from note plan three to obsidian. Now it's more than likely what you're going to do is you're going to see a bit more. So like I've added in that, that code block, it now formats as a code block. If I go into the preview, so you're going to get more, not less. So this is really nice. And if you go to some of the files here, I'll go into this imported file where I've brought over some of the, the, um, notes that I've had in obsidian. If we come in here, we should be able to, we can scroll through these. Maybe let me find one here that has something in it here. So I'll come in here. And so I do have some mermaid code here that would not be seen over in note plan that I can come in here and I can still view this, even though I can start typing all this stuff out in note plan three, come over here if I want to export it or, or view it. Now, the only issue with this is I was trying to get around not moving from one app to another app and not having complete functionality that I get from Obsidian from a markdown standpoint in note plan three will lend me to come back into Obsidian. It shouldn't happen too often, but it's still kind of one of those things where you have to go back and forth and there is no one solution to kind of rule them all. Okay, so I hope that that was helpful for those coming from Obsidian that want to get into an application that does have the calendar features built into it. This is a good start. I think once the developer adds more of the, the markdown formatting into this application, this will, this will be a lot better. 
And one other thing that's missing from this here that I forgot to mention are templates. So in Obsidian, you know how you can go into Obsidian and you can leverage the templates feature where I have the template plugin enabled in Obsidian. I can click on this template and I have these predefined uh, templates that will insert certain information into a note. You don't get this type of template feature in Note Plan 3. Okay, so for now, I think that's going to be it. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and close this, this video out. And if this was helpful, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.